Okay. I know that for the people who I want to listen to this, I'm the last person they're going to listen to, but I really want to talk about it anyway. Who here knows about a channel called Philosophy Tube? Run by Ollie. He makes good videos. Yeah. Yeah, I know you all know. It was rhetorical, dipshits. Anyway, um, the New York Post tweeted this out. Nonpartisan board calls on Trump to begin transition. And if you're trans, which like a third of the people watching right now are, you already know what joke naturally comes from this. You know, as, as easily as two follows one and B follows A, you know exactly what joke is about to be made. And Ollie made it. Go back. That's a surprise. That's my British voice. Best of luck to the president in her transition. Get it? Get, get it? Because the transition being referred to by the New York Post is like transitioning from one presidential administration to the other. And in this one, they, yeah, okay, you get it. Uh, anyway, uh, here's, here's me. Jesus Christ, what the fuck happened here? Anyway, this tweet kind of blew up, like 16,000 likes, whatever. But um, if you actually look at the comments, they are like overwhelmingly negative. Kind of cringe, bro. This is fine. True. This isn't funny. Sincerely a trans person. And then the retort, I thought it was funny and I'm a trans person. This is a joke only found funny by transphobic people. What does that say about the joke? Um, because of how things have unfolded over the past year, trans people expressing this tweet isn't cool are already being dismissed as the woke scold cancel culture Twitter mob. So predictable. Yeah, the people who I want to watch this video aren't going to take any advice from me, so... Uh... Oh, whoops. Uh... Transphobe is trans is not a joke cis people should make. You're a good ally, but this ain't it. Let's not joke about this. This is not a good joke. Please actually delete. It's been 12 hours. Why isn't this deleted? It goes on for a very long time. Like, a very, very long time. I read through the whole thing. Um, yeah, sorry. Yeah, if you guys want to stop watching right now, this is your invitation too, because, oh god. Okay, so let's talk about this. Be very sensitive, okay? As a cis person, please recognize that all my perspectives have been influenced by my lived experience. As a cis person, which means I didn't have to grow up, with people questioning my gender identity, and... <sighs> so, um, a, cup, a couple of things, okay? First of all, I think a lot of people don't understand the difference between harm and offense. So, let's say for, for, for a minute, okay? I've been given the trans pass, I can talk about this. All right, thank you. Let's say for a minute, okay? You're a trans person, and you see an insensitive joke being made by a friend. Not like bigoted. Not like trans people aren't valid or whatever, you know, whatever. Not, no helicopter jokes. Um, but just like a joke that maybe rubs you the wrong way. Like it's kind of cringe or whatever, you know? To immediately jump to the assumption that this is both A, transphobic, and B, indicative of some kind of broader social harm is very weird to me. I understand that offense isn't inherently an invalid like criticism to make of jokes that you don't like like if you're offended by something that's not nothing you know it's not an argument against another argument but it's something like i don't like being offended by my friends you know well like when i like when i'm with my friends and they make jokes about how tall and handsome and muscular and strong i am you know like i you know they're always joking about it and i'm always like yeah guys i get it i'm great you know but give it a rest and like I can like it the, the offense builds up, you know. But um there are some people in this tweet who are acting as though the presence of this tweet on the internet is like harmful to trans people. So let me be really super duper clear, okay? Objectively, nobody who wasn't transphobic was made transphobic by this tweet. This tweet isn't like hurting the world. It's just kind of like a lame dad joke that I guess something rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. Um, and I know there are plenty of trans people who wouldn't find this offensive because as a person who presides over a community with a lot of trans people in it, 
I know a lot of you people are totally fine with it. Which I think this is more indicative not of whether you're trans or cis, but what communities you grow up in. Because here's my hot ass take, okay? 98% of the people getting offended through here are cis. Guarantee you. I'd bet my fucking life on it. I'd hold a fucking knife to my wrist or my throat and bet on it, okay? I'd bet to the devil. A lot of these people are cis. Most of these people are cis, okay? Which means we're in an unfortunate position of presuming offense, which I generally think is a really, really bad look. Um, both optically, like, to the outside, and also amongst ourselves. Um, yeah. Not that there's anything wrong, by the way, with being cis and getting offended at transphobia, but, like, this feels like an edge case to me. And the edge case feels, like, kind of meaningless to me, because this isn't a transphobic joke. At all. Nothing about this joke is transphobic. It's not even, yeah, it's not even edgy. Like, even slightly. In fact, you could actually argue it's an anti-transphobic joke because the indication here is that if somebody says they're beginning transition that you would support them regardless of their political affiliation. Nothing about this joke implies harm to trans people, but there were people in the comment section saying that this is the attack helicopter joke, which, I'll explain it. No. The attack helicopter joke is when you insinuate that being non-binary or being trans is dumb because it means anyone can identify as anything, and now you're identifying as an attack helicopter, dropping, dropping bombs on people, whatever. So the joke there is that the idea of identifying as anything other than the gender you were assigned at birth is cringe. That's the attack helicopter joke. That is not this joke. At all. You know? That, that's just not what this joke is. It's not the one joke. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> Look, I, 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 I mean, I don't know. Like, again, I recognize that the people in my community are going to be predisposed towards not being offended about stuff like this because I'm fairly edgy, which means that a lot of you guys are also going to be fairly edgy. And I know that I'm explaining the joke here and that makes it all bad and ruined and stuff like that. But, you know, I have to feel a little bit bad for, for Ollie here. Wait, hold on. Vosh, I think some people interpret it as Trump is a bigot and I think it would be a fitting punishment for him to be trans, which I don't think is what Ollie intended. Okay, so here's my response to that. If anybody thinks that the joke here is Trump is a bigot and it would be a fitting punishment for him to be trans, they're insane. That is an unhinged interpretation of this tweet. You're in another world. Fucking Stretch Armstrong over here reaching around the fucking world. Yeah, I feel like that might be projection. And by the way, that is something that you see a lot in communities of marginalized people. People getting offended at stuff that really isn't offensive because they're projecting self-hatred onto what they're um onto what they're looking at. You guys have seen that happen before, right? You know what I mean? It's kind of like um have you ever had like an insecure girlfriend or boyfriend, whatever? Have you ever had like an insecure girlfriend who will ask you questions about like um uh, her appearance or like uh, how she's dressed and you'll answer honestly but you know she's trying to bait you into saying something unflattering so they can be offended by it i'm saying i'm saying girlfriend because i've had more girlfriends than boyfriends like that's just my experience but um nope okay well it's it's a thing that happens um whatever the case is just i don't know i feel honestly i feel like the real victim here is 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 ollie just because ollie is such an orthodox progressive you know what i mean I'm edgy. I get canceled all the time, whatever, you know, but Ollie is like super duper on point with being kind and considerate. There were people in the in the responses to this tweet who said they were done with Ollie because in Ollie's most recent video, a character that he was playing as said retard or retarded, I think. Which if you're at a position where you're willing to completely disavow leftist content creators because in a criticism of bigotry, they play a character who says retarded? I mean, you're kind of a cancel culture, woke scold, over-offended sensitivity baby uh, mob, aren't you, right? I mean, that's really dumb. Um, I, I think we really need to grow past these people. Because what you find is that, much like neo-Nazis online, the people who get sensitive like this, or like this easily, 
are usually a relatively small group of like typically young people who think the best thing they can do to make a difference is hyper purity check everybody else. But like, they're a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of the online left. So they're very vocal, but they're not even close to a majority. And I think it's important to not humor them. Um, you don't want to give them a space in your community because they are a really toxic influence. I'm not saying everybody who was offended by this tweet is a toxic influence, by the way. I don't believe that. If you get offended, I'll say it. If you get offended easily, you're valid, okay? Whatever. We're all living life, okay? That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Do whatever you want. But um, if you're using this as some sort of leverage or attack against... An unambiguously extremely progressive person like if you're actually using th this as some sort of wedge to drive in the community i don't know i think that's really really dumb i think that's extremely dumb um and nobody's woke enough well whatever the um can you can we be listen this is my personal growth okay um a year and a half ago, talking about this exact issue, oh boy, I'd be mad, okay? You people saw my old streams, didn't you? Nowadays, calm and cool. You know why, by the way? Do you have any idea why I got so much calmer? Well, part of it's because I got larger um, uh, uh, and better at doing this and, you know. Uh, but a lot of it is also because I stopped feeling as though that was a community I was responsible for appealing to. And... After doing that, I felt a lot better. I no longer felt like I had to tailor my optics or my language to appeal to a group of people who are, though not good for the left, very much a part of the left, and therefore I don't need to worry about them. For what purpose is there in leftist outreach if all you're doing is reaching out to people who are already on the left, you know? Like, what, what are we doing there? Um, anyway, I feel, I feel bad for Ollie here because I know exactly how this went for Ollie, okay? Are you ready for it? This is how it went for Ollie, okay? Um, Ollie saw this New York Post tweet, which was three days old when he retweeted it. So I don't know if somebody else had retweeted it or something. Something spurred this, but um, Ollie retweeted it with what he thought was a harmless little joke uh, that, again, was in no way, this is not in any way, shape, or form like derogatory towards trans people. Um, and then Ollie left um, the computer to go, what do British people do? I don't know, to, to go uh, uh, chase a, 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 a Bobby or T. Yeah, it could be T. Um, what are other British things that I know? Um, go over to India and like beat somebody to death. I have no idea. Whatever the fuck British people do, okay? And then later, um, Ollie came back to the computer and, um, and, and, and found the reaction. And I imagine felt quite sore about it. But the unfortunate thing is, what are you meant to do if you're Ollie? See, if you delete this tweet, as some people are suggesting, he, he do. Uh, that's a terrible response. Never, ever, ever listen to commentators tell you, if you're a public content creator, how to handle drama. Never. Because if you just delete it, most of the people are going to then say, he's trying to cover up the evidence. He fucked up. Yo, oh, did you hear about Ollie's deleted tweet? Yeah, Ollie had like a transphobic tweet that he had to delete. Yeah. Oh, you heard about that, right? That time that uh, Ollie went on like that transphobic rant on Twitter and then had to delete? The telephone game goes on and on and on. You're done. If you delete the tweets, you're fucking gone, bro. You can't do that. You can't do it. You cannot do it. You can't delete the tweet. It also implies you're wrong, and Ollie's not wrong here, so. And if you do another tweet where you say, I apologize for the previous tweet, the responses to the, that tweet were only, they're only going to be, why don't you delete the first tweet, which brings you up to the same problem. The only thing that you can do is not acknowledge it at all. That's the secret right there, okay? You just don't acknowledge it. If, the, if you're streaming or something, you can be like, oh yeah, I didn't want people to interpret it that way, but what are you going to do? But if, the more you acknowledge drama like this, the more you dignify the worst actors participating in it, you know? And by the way, and frankly, again, by the way, if there was a fan of philosophy tube who saw this tweet and now they're like appreciation is teetering on the brink this is not a person that you should be addressing anyway because this is not like a real fan of your channel this is not the type of person that you want like propagating in your community so yeah just oh god you can't make everybody happy you cannot make everybody happy you can't what if you double down on it good move or no no 
no, don't double. What, what would what would Ollie even be defending here? Like, I have the right to make tweets, and if you're offended, that's your fault. No, 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 no. Doubling down is no. Just just move move by. You know, think of um, think of all of the like content creators that have been on the internet for like a decade, and think of how much drama pretty much all of them have been through. You know what the most consistently best response is anytime any shit like this happens? You just walk through it. You just walk right right the fuck through it. You know. Just keep on doing it. Don't ignore it entirely. Like, if it comes up, acknowledge it. But just, just walk through it. Don't obsess. Yeah, hashtag walk away. The real meaning. The real meaning of the phrase. Very true. Very, very true.